So once we have done with the create and read, it's time to do the update and delete. The thing is, uh, the UI which you are working with, I'm not sure it has the update and delete feature. I can't see that here. So we'll be going for a new UI. So we'll replace this. First of all, I will just stop this, what was running here. And let's open the new UI. So I will go to file, open. And this is where I have all the UI. Now this is the latest one. So this ecom uh, frontend 4, I will upload that in the, I mean, you will find the link in description. I will open this and open. So this is our new UI and we need to make it work. So again, the same steps which we have done before. I will go to terminal, I will click on new terminal. And here I will say, okay, don't restart now. NPM install, that's the first step. The next step is we have to say NPM uh, run dev. Okay, so this is running. I will click on this thing. It is opening on some other page. I'll just take it here. Okay. So here we got two products. Now this is because in the database, we already have uh, two things. I have not restarted my uh, database yet or the backend yet. It's only the front end which is uh, changed. And now when I click on any of the product, you can see we have this button now, which is update and delete. I'm not sure in the old UI it was there. Please let me know in the comments or I will just check that after the video. But we got this button now, update and delete. And when I click on update, it should open the update form. So we'll have all these details and I can change the category of this. Maybe I will just put that into electronics now. And the number of quantities, I want to make it seven. Uh, let's keep the same image and I will click on submit. So it says failed to update the product. Try again. So what went wrong? Of course, we don't have a URL or we don't have an API which will handle the update. But which URL it is heading? So let, let me just uh, check my UI. So if I go here in the components, I don't see update. Oh, yeah, we have the update. So we have update product and it is, the, it is hitting the URL for put. Okay, where's the put request? Yeah, so this is a put request and we are hitting a URL which is uh, localhost colon ad ad slash api slash product slash id but the put request okay that's important put request and what type of data we are going to send so from this we are going to send three things one of one of one thing is of course the id next is the product and the multi-part uh, image okay so we are going to send three things the id the multi-part image and the product so for this, we have to create a API. We also have a delete option. I will show you the delete one. Uh, so delete product is getting called. So I'm into product.jsx and yeah. So this is the delete request. So for delete also, we have the same thing, same URL, but the method is different, okay? And in delete, we don't have to send the product data or uh, the image, we just have to send the ID, okay? So these are the two URLs, just remember. These are the two URLs we have to work with. And for this, we have to create the API. So let's head back to our project and let's create these two controllers. Uh, so the first control I'm going to create is this for the update. So let's say public and we are going to return the status with some text. So I will say response entity and it is string and I will say update product. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to accept three things, but then what will be URL? Uh, we have to use put mapping for the update and the URL is slash product slash the ID and that ID we have to accept here with the help of path variable. So I will say path variable int ID. That's the first thing. Apart from this, we can just take it from the uh, post mapping. You can say we are accepting these two things. So I can simply use it. Are we on the copy pasting? We're just reusing the code, right? That sounds better and open close. So this, this is the update method which we have. Okay, so when I say update, who is going to update this? Of course, I will ask my service to update the product. So I will say update uh, product. And I want my update product to also return me something. So it should return the product which is updated. And maybe based on that, I will return something. Maybe I will say product one. And here we have to send those three things. We have to send ID, we have to send the product and we have to send the image file, three things. Okay, and if you receive the product or if, if there's nothing wrong, so product one, if it is not equal to null, in that case, I will return the new response entity by sending two things. I will send the text first, which is updated. And then I'm going to send the status, which is okay or created. Okay, okay, looks good. So I will say, okay. And else I will return new response entity. We'll send the message failed to update and we'll pass the status dot uh, maybe bad request or bad yeah, bad request works. 
Okay, so uh, this is the thing, but then this is not working, right? So the actual logic goes into the update product. Now this is a bit complex. So what I will do is I will just go back here and say create method update uh, product. You see, it is complex because we are also working with the image. If it is simply product, there is no problem. But since we also have an image here, then we have to make some changes. Now it's very simple actually. You can simply use your repo by saying, "Hey repo." Uh, I want to save because even if you want to update, you will use a save method. You can simply pass product. Okay, uh, it's our. It's. I mean, it depends upon us if you want to use the ID or if you don't want to use the ID. Because I can simply skip ID if if I want. I can simply update this. But there's one more issue with this. What if the product is not there? Of course, no one can send an update request if the product is not there, right? Because we are working with the UI. But anyway, let's imagine if someone is sending a request directly with the, the update request and the product is not there, it will create the product. So maybe you can have a check if the ID is present. So that for that reason, we can use the ID. Otherwise, the code which I'm going to write, I'm not going to use the ID. Okay, so what I was saying is we can uh, return, uh, we can return repo.say because this will return the product and that's what I'm returning here. But then it will not have the image. We don't have the image data right in the product. So before doing this, what I will do is I will uh, add, I will say product dot set image uh, data and I will pick that from the image, image file dot get bytes. Now this get byte might throw an exception. Okay, so I will add to signature, I will say throw IO exception, but in the controller, then we have to use try catch. Yeah, this works. But then we are throwing the exception, we should return I will return this yeah, bad request. Okay. Yeah, the code looks big, but then if you see, we have a line for try, catch, uh, if else. So the simple code is just this update product. Okay. But if I go back to service, this is the first thing you have to set. Uh, next, I also want to set the name of the image. I will say set image name. And that thing, I will get it from the image file dot uh, get original file name and the type product dot set image. And if you have a better option, let me know. I'm just trying what I have uh, explored, but if you have some other way of doing this, let me know in the comments. So what I'm doing is I'm updating the product and storing the product and this should work now. And I hope this will work. Anything need to check, it looks good. Maybe we'll also write the code for the delete in one go. I don't have to type these things again. Uh, I will say delete mapping for which request. Delete mapping for slash product slash ID. And here we'll write the method name as public. Even this will return the status. So I will say response status with message. So I will say string and delete product. This will accept the ID. So I will say path variable and accept the ID. We can check, you know, before uh, deleting it, we can check if the ID is there. Uh, I will go for a simple way. So I will say, hey service, say delete, delete product and pass the ID. You know, actually we, sh we should check, otherwise we'll not be able to return the status, right? Uh, so what I will do is I will just get the product first. I will say product product is equal to service dot get product by ID. I will just pass this ID and we'll check first. If the product is not equal to null, in that case, it should uh, uh, delete and return something. So I'll return the new response entity by passing a message deleted you know, we should print uh, product successfully deleted or updated works. And then we'll send the status. So HTTP status dot, uh, do we have anything for deleted? Let's see, yeah, we'll go for okay. Okay, but what if the product is not there? So in the else case, I will return new response entity and we'll pass the message uh, product not found and return the status HTTP status dot not found. Okay, but then we don't have the delete method. So I will just go back here and say create the delete method. And in this we'll do very simple stuff. I will say uh, repo dot delete and pass the ID. But I think for ID we have to use a different method. It should be delete by ID and pass the ID. That's it. And now we have basically worked with two methods. One is the update, uh, which is the put and delete. Uh, so put will work with the update. Uh, that's what we have done here. And this will send the request to the service. So things should work out. I'm assuming it will work. So let's restart the application. Okay, looks like there's no issue. Tomcat is running. And now I will open my uh, browser, okay? And in this, let's click on home. Now, the moment you say home, you lost all the products because we are 
Uh, we have restarted the application. So I will say add product, Samsung Galaxy, uh, which will be M. Brand, Samsung, some description, price, let's say $99. Category, phone. Or let's give a wrong category. Let's say, let's put it in electronics. And stock is, let's say, 9. Date of release, 1st June. I have kept everything in the images. I will click on this. This I hope that's a phone. And now, product available, submit. So we got the first product. And, okay, that's here. Let's add one more. Gaming laptop, not laptop. Laptop, brand Asus. Some description, price 999. Uh, category, let's also put that in electronics. We'll update this as well. Uh, stock, 7. Uh, release date is 1. Or maybe we'll have a release date, 12th of June. Images of laptop. Product available, submit. Okay, so we got two products now. The first thing we are going to do is we'll update something. So let's go to the first product and what I want to update. Maybe I want to update this description and also the stock. So I'll click on update and we'll change this description. Best budget phone. Stock, I will reduce it to, let's say six. I don't want to change the image. Category, I will. Uh, yeah, we have to also change the category to mobile. It was laptop. Uh, it was electronics, I think. And click on submit and we got, it says updated, you can see the message here. And if I click on home now, let's go back to this product. Description got updated, the stock got updated and we have also changed something or maybe two things. So that's how basically you can update. What about delete? So what I will do is I will delete this laptop here and click on delete. So it says delete successfully. Uh, I can still see here, maybe it was not refresh, refresh, it's gone, okay? So again, the UI things, UI things need to be changed, but things are working out. So we have worked with the update and we have worked with the delete. Uh, so just to reiterate, what we have done is we have added the two methods, one for the update product and one for the delete product. In the update, we are accepting three things. Of course, we are not using ID, but we can if you want to check if the uh, product is there or not before updating it. Uh, otherwise, the save method will create a new product. Okay, so that's one thing you can check. Uh, again, that's up to you. If you if you have done it, let me in the comments. Others can also see your work. And we have done with delete. In the service, basically for updating, uh, it's very easy actually updating. We can simply use save method, but since it's, we have also have an image, uh, that, that's why we have these three extra lines. Otherwise, simply save works. And delete simple line because we're not working with images. We just say, hey, delete the product and our job will be done. So that completes the basic operation, what we wanted to do with this. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have enjoyed, please do share with your friends. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.